Welcome to RMIT Vietnam Graduation 2019! Before we begin with the formal proceedings, I would like to remind our guests of a few things. Chào mừng quý khách đến tham dự lễ tốt nghiệp của Đại học RMIT năm 2019. Trước khi buổi lễ bắt đầu, xin quý vị quan khách lưu ý một số quy định sau. Please turn off your mobile phones or switch to silence during the ceremony. Quý khách vui lòng tắt điện thoại hoặc chuyển sang chế độ im lặng để buổi lễ được diễn ra tốt đẹp. In the unlikely event there is emergency, we have a medical center located in the building on your left hand side. If the fire alarm sounds, please make your way to the nearest exit. Trong trường hợp khẩn cấp, chúng tôi có một trung tâm y tế nằm phía bên tay trái của quý vị. Quý vị vui lòng sử dụng lối thoát hiểm gần nhất trong trường hợp có chuông báo cháy. Please do not leave your belongings unattended. Xin quý khách vui lòng lưu ý đồ đạc tư trang của mình. Please do not approach the stage area to take photos during the ceremony as this impedes the movement of graduates to and from the stage. Professional photographers will be taking photos when graduates receive their awards on stage. Để không ảnh hưởng đến trình tự của buổi lễ, trong quá trình diễn ra, xin quý khách vui lòng giữ yên chỗ ngồi và không tiến đến khu vực sân khấu để chụp hình các tân khoa. Trường đã có thể chụp hình chuyên nghiệp cho các tân khoa khi lên sân khấu nhận bằng. The ceremony will now begin with a drum performance. Buổi lễ sẽ bắt đầu với phần biểu diễn chống nghệ thuật. Xin mời toàn thể quý khách cùng các bạn sinh viên đứng lên để chào đón đoàn diễn hành danh dự.
Please remain standing for the Vietnamese and Australian national anthems. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful day to start today's events. My name's Hugh McCann, and I will be your MC for today's graduation ceremony. To formally welcome you, I would now like to call on RMIT's Deputy Vice Chancellor Education and Vice President, Professor Belinda Tynan. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our 2019 graduation ceremony. As the Deputy Vice-Chancellor and Vice-President of RMIT, I'm incredibly proud to be here today to congratulate our graduates on this outstanding achievement. I'm delighted to be welcomed so openly by all of you in this amazing country. Every time I visit, I more deeply get to know the traditions and people, particularly our students and their parents. Today is an important milestone that will be etched in your memory for the rest of your lives. And it is my pleasure to be here to celebrate with you all. As all of your guests who are here also come to celebrate your success, I give them a very warm welcome too. Today is a remarkable one, as it signals the return of one of our most distinguished leaders at RMIT. And it is my pleasure to introduce RMIT Vietnam Chairman and Vice-Chancellor Delegate, Professor Peter Collo. Many of you may know Professor Collo, but for those of you who don't, let me express how delighted the Vice-Chancellor and RMIT Council are that Peter is back in Vietnam. Peter joined RMIT in 1985 and played a key role in establishing the university's presence here. Being part of RMIT Vietnam since its inception means he's been here every step of the way, watching the campus and then the campuses in Da Nang and Hanoi grow and mature. It feels fitting that he is back as the RMIT Vietnam chairman, guiding and congratulating our graduates with his deep history and connection to both campus and country. As we come together today to celebrate the end of your first chapter with RMIT, a new phase beckons with a world of opportunity. Carry the RMIT name in your hearts, cherish the experiences you have had, and continue to nurture the connections you have made as one of our new alumni. 
I do hope, as every one of you cross this stage today, that I hear thunderous applause and heartfelt congratulations. This is your moment. Let's get started. May I now welcome Professor Peter Collo, RMIT Vietnam Chairman and Vice-Chancellor Delegate. Hello everybody. Xin King Chao Quy Vi. Chancellor. Mr Luke Nguyen our honorary doctorate recipient and keynote speaker, representatives of industries and high schools, honoured guests, staff, graduates, family and friends. As RMIT Vietnam Chairman, it is my pleasure to welcome you all here today as we come together to celebrate this significant milestone. When I'm speaking as a guest of a country, I always like to start by showing my excitement and appreciation for the opportunity to be here with you all. I love being in Vietnam and the people of this beautiful country have always welcomed me so warmly, so thank you. For our graduating students, today is a day you will look back on for the rest of your lives, so enjoy it. Take a moment to savour it and reflect on this moment. Many years of hard work and dedication has brought you to this point. Congratulations on your achievement. For parents too, you must be so proud. Take a moment to reflect on the fundamental role you have played throughout this journey. Without your love and support, we would not be here celebrating today. I've been lucky enough to be closely linked with RMIT Vietnam since its inception. As Vietnam continues to evolve, RMIT has grown alongside, always staying, to, staying true to our core purpose. And as your leading foreign university, RMIT has supported Vietnam's economic priorities and the positive development of the region for nearly two decades. And in so many ways, we are just getting started. In fact, next year, we will celebrate our 20th anniversary here, and I'm very excited about that. It's our intention to continue making a genuine contribution to the lives of people in Vietnam and to the wider region. And any funds that RMIT Vietnam generates remain in country and are reinvested back into the university to provide high quality infrastructure and an excellent student experience. And that says everything about our attitude to the role we play and the responsibilities that we carry. RMIT continues to invest in education in Vietnam. And without your ongoing support of what we do, it would not be possible to deliver the contemporary, world-class education that prepares students in Vietnam for success in the modern workplace. Today's graduates will join 13,000 and a half alumni already in demand, and they will know the benefits of its an education that opens doors within Vietnam and around the world. Indeed, 93% of RMIT Vietnam graduates secure a full-time job within four months of completing their degree. That's a fantastic result. And it builds on RMIT's long history and proud reputation for providing an exceptional education that's fit for the times. How do we know this? I hear it all the time from industry here in Vietnam. Our graduates are highly sought after for the connections they hold and their work integrated learning experiences sets them apart. For the fourth consecutive year in 2019, RMIT features in every global ranking schema. And in the QS STARS evaluation system in particular, 
RMIT has received five stars on every category. We also rank 59th globally and 20th in Asia Pacific in the graduate employer employment rate in the 2020 graduate employability rankings. Graduates, you come together from far and wide. Some of you made RMIT your first step straight from school. Others came after travel adventures or the world of work. No matter how or when you joined us, you all shared a desire to learn and to succeed. And what united you was a determination to gain the knowledge and experience to prepare you for your life and for your career. And that's exactly what you've done. You're about to stand as a graduate of this great university, and that is quite an achievement. Because it's taken commitment, determination, tenacity, and at times sacrifice, and you've made it. But I'm sure I can say that you didn't make it alone. When the Australian Prime Minister visited Vietnam earlier this year, he spoke about the relationship between Australia and Vietnam moving from friends to mates. So what does that mean and why would I bring it up today at your graduation? Please let me explain. We live in a world that increasingly takes place online. We communicate in short form, in short form texts. We collaborate in team sites. We store what we create in a cloud. We celebrate progress in virtual systems and artificial intelligence. And we invest in solutions that progressively reduce the need to be in the same place as each other. And yet research by the smartest people around the world tells us that the skills that will define your success are those that will test your ability to be human together. The skills for success are about our ability to adapt, our resilience, our communication and our leadership capabilities. You need to develop these skills in the company of others. Through working in teams, through collaboration, and through building working relationships that last. And what I'd like to suggest is that you've started that journey right here now. Friendships you made through your studies might be lifelong. They are certainly the beginning of an important network you'll draw on throughout your career if you're smart, and we know that you are. It's also these friendships that sustain you during hard times. And whilst I hope your hard times are few, we all will have them. Life is so much more than career success, even though you may feel like your focus, that's your focus right now. When you look back on your life, it will be the relationships you will remember. It will be the acts of generosity and kindness that you hold on to. And all these things come back to valuing what it means to be human and respecting the importance of friendship. So when the Australian Prime Minister spoke of moving from friends to mates, he was talking about a deeper friendship between our countries. A mate is someone you lean on in the good times and the bad. It's a friendship to depend on. So, if you've made even one friendship like that during your time at RMIT Vietnam, hold on to it. Hold on to it as firmly as you hold on to the document you'll be presented with at the moment of graduation. And maybe today is the day you go from a friend to a mate. Today, you join RMIT's proud history and global network of more than 430,000 alumni in 130 countries. 
That's an extraordinary reach. And I encourage you to make the most of RMIT's rich 132-year history and unique global footprint. When you look around this room, you can see that behind every one of you is a network of support. I'd like us to take a moment to acknowledge those people. To all parents, partners, family and friends, thank you for the support you've given our amazing graduates. So let's give them a round of applause. And there's another group who are also bursting with pride today, the people of RMIT. I'd like to take a moment to thank our amazing team of academics and support staff who have been there for our students along their journey. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being part of your journey as RMIT students, and we will continue to be so as you become our alumni too. Remember, no matter where you go or what you do in your life and career, you will always be part of RMIT. We're confident that we've given you the knowledge, skills and connections you need to be successful. We can't wait to see what you do next and wish you every possible success for the future. So once again, on behalf of RMIT, congratulations. Thank you. It's a privilege to share your celebration today. In concluding, I want to leave you with three pieces of advice. First, keep learning. Secondly, stay curious and question everything. And third, stay true to the aspiration that brought you to RMIT in the first place. Thank you all. Many thanks to our chairman, Professor Colo. The Chancellor Delegate, Ms. Janet Latchford, will now lead the conferring ceremony. I call on Ms. Connie Molino, Academic Registrar of RMIT University, for the certification of awards. Okay, everyone. Now we've reached the part of the ceremony that you've been waiting for, the part where you graduate. In this one moment, all those years of hard work pay off as we declare that you have completed the requirements to become a graduate in your chosen field. You should feel incredibly proud. Your families and friends should feel incredibly delighted. You set your sights on this years ago and you've made it. When it was hard, you kept going. When you felt distracted, you focused. When you wondered if you could make it to the end, you pushed on. A long time ago, a man called Sir Edmund Hillary was the first person alongside Sherpa Tenzing to climb Mount Everest. He's famous for saying, it's not the mountain that we conquer, but ourselves. And that's exactly what you've done. With discipline, persistence and determination, here you are, soon to be graduates of RMIT University. So with that, graduates, would you please stand for the conferring of degrees? <laughs> Chancellor. I certify to you that the candidates presented here today have fulfilled the conditions prescribed for admission to the named awards of the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology and are entitled to be admitted to the rights and privileges of these awards. I also certify the honorary degree presented here today is awarded in accordance with the relevant statute and regulations of the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology. 
By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Council of RMIT University, I admit the duly authorised candidates on this list, both present and absent, to the appropriate degree or diploma of RMIT University, and to all the rights and privileges of graduation. Congratulations to our new graduates. Graduates, you may now be seated. It is now time for the presentation of an honorary doctorate degree. Please welcome the chairman of RMIT Vietnam, Professor Peter Colo. Chancellor, it is my pleasure and privilege to present to you Mr. Luke Nguyen whom you admitted to the degree of Doctor of Communications, Honoris Causa. Luke is a Vietnamese Australian chef and restaurateur, author, television host, teacher, and gastronomic traveler. His love for cooking and passion for spreading Vietnamese cuisine and culture around the world have earned him an international reputation as a respected and celebrated chef and restaurateur. A refugee to Australia, Luke was raised in Sydney to Vietnamese parents and has been traveling between Australia and Vietnam for over 15 years. He learned the art and the fundamentals of Vietnamese cooking from his parents. Wanting to learn more, he trained and worked with renowned Sydney restaurateurs and chefs. At the age of 23, Luke fulfilled his dream of opening his first restaurant, Red Lantern, in Sydney, Australia. And in 2012, he opened his second restaurant, Red Lantern on Riley, also in Sydney. During the past decade, he has continued to open award-winning restaurants around the world, these have included Fat Noodle, an Asian noodle bar at the Star in Perlot, Sydney, and the Treasury in Brisbane, Australia. In 2015, he opened Grown Cooking Studio in Saigon, offering hands-on cooking classes where guests experience a cooking and cultural journey of Vietnam. In 2017, he opened Moi Moi by Luke Nguyen in Hong Kong Central and the first restaurant in Saigon, Vietnam House, elevating Vietnamese cuisine to another level. Luke is the author of numerous best-selling and award-winning cookbooks. Starting in 2007 with Secrets of the Red Lantern, Stories and Vietnamese Recipes from the Heart, then The Songs of Sapa, Stories and Recipes from Vietnam, Indochine, Baguettes and Ban Mi, Finding France in Vietnam, Luke Nguyen's Greater Mekong, a culinary journey from China to Vietnam. The Food of Vietnam. Luke Nguyen's France, from China to Vietnam. And then as recently in 2016, Street Food Asia. In 2011, Luke was inducted into Australia's Sydney Morning Herald's Food Hall of Fame for his cooking and travel programs. These include Luke Nguyen's Vietnam, Greater Mekong, France, UK, Street Food Asia and Luke Nguyen's Food Trails, which are televised in 150 countries. He's also judge and host of MasterChef Vietnam. Luke has also appeared in Gordon's Great Escape, a television series presented by chef Gordon Ramsay and MasterChef Australia. Luke is an ambassador for award-winning travel group Australian Pacific Touring and he hosts culinary trips to Vietnam, Cambodia, China, Myanmar and Japan. He is also global cuisine ambassador for Vietnam Airlines and Taste of Australia 2019, a partnership between the Australian government and Australian and Vietnamese producers, distributors, retailers, restaurants and organisations that celebrate Australian cuisine, culture, and lifestyle throughout Vietnam. Thank you. 
you Tiger 21. Thanks. Chancellor. Present to you Dr. Luke Nguyen. Please put your hands together again to congratulate Dr. Nguyen. Dr. Nguyen will now deliver our keynote speech. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you excited, graduates? Yes? Folks, thank you so much for the introduction. I think I'm going to ask to be introduced like this everywhere I go from now on. It's very exciting. Thank you. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge with my deepest gratitude Deputy Chancellor Ms. Janet Latchford, Chairman Professor Peter Collin, Pro Vice Chancellors of RMIT Colleges and the RMIT Vietnam Leadership Team. Thank you for inviting me and making me feel so very welcome. To the RMIT graduating class of 2019 and your families, a deep and heartfelt thank you for allowing me to be part of this momentous and important day with you all. It is an honor and a great privilege to share this stage with you and to be part of your graduation ceremony. It really is so very special for me. Thank you RMIT for bestowing on me such an amazing accolade. An honorary doctorate in communications. This is just phenomenal. Looking around the room, it is so nice to see so many young, vibrant, happy faces. You're smiling right there, very good. Um, if you would tell me when I was your age that one day I will be standing in front of hundreds of people in my cap and my gown and receiving an honorary doctorate, I would never have believed you. Studying wasn't something that came easy to me. It wasn't one of my strengths at all. I did see my older sister Pauline and my older brother Lewis graduate from their universities. I also saw my younger brother Leroy graduate as well. And I remember feeling so incredibly proud of them. But at the same time, I did feel like the black sheep in the family. Now my father is in the crowd today. Where are you, Dad? There he is. Dad, can you stand up? They can stand up. If you run into him, just ask him. He'll tell you, yes, Luke was definitely the black sheep in the family. <laughs> I've, I've learned from growing up in a Vietnamese family, thanks to you, Dad and Mum, that it is okay to have emotions. It is okay to feel emotions. And today, of all days, you should be feeling so many of those emotions. And the biggest one is pride. Everyone around you, your lecturers, your family, your friends, are so very proud of you. So please take this moment to be proud of yourself and to be proud of what you have accomplished. You have all graduated from RMIT. All those years of hard work, sweat, and maybe even tears have brought you to today. I want to congratulate every and each and one of you for your achievement and would like for all your family and friends of the graduates today to make a really big effort to express 
and show how incredibly proud you are of them. Tell them, tell them how proud you are. Hug them, kiss them, squeeze them if you like. Just show your emotions, show them how proud you are. But first to the graduates, please join me in co congratulating your fellow students that are just beside you. Be proud of yourselves. Tap them on the shoulder, give them a cuddle, go on. Show them how proud you are of each other. Folks, make some noise, okay? Congratulations. That was pretty good, well done. Today is the start of the rest of your lives. It is an exciting time, a bit daunting as well, as there are quite a few unknowns. But do take comfort in the fact that you, if you put your mind to something, you will achieve it. You graduating from RMIT today just proves that very point. Today, I'd like to share with you my personal philosophy on finding success. Some things that I think have helped me in my journey to get to where I am today, and which may also serve you as you embark on the next part of your own journey. Firstly, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. At 12 years old, I already knew I wanted to open my own restaurant. By the age of 23, I was just tired of talking about it. So I searched and found an old terrace house in Surrey Hills in Sydney and began to build my own dream restaurant. People thought I was crazy. They said I was too young, too inexperienced, and that a Vietnamese restaurant, a small Vietnamese restaurant, doesn't belong in the inner city at all. And with the help of my sister Pauline and my brother-in-law Mark Jensen, together we opened Red Lantern on the 4th of June, 2002. That evening, that opening night, just before opening the doors at 6 p.m. on the dot, I realized that I did not have a float in the cash register. There was no money in there to give people change when they paid the bill. So I opened my wallet, checked how much money I had inside, emptied all my pockets, gathered all of the coins, and in total, I had $100 left. That was it. Nothing more in the piggy bank, nothing more in the bank. Now, if I did not get any customers coming in that night, I would have gone out of business like that. Bankrupt, day one. But you know what? I believed in myself. And that opening night, we were a full house. And in the first year, Red Lantern won Best New Restaurant in Sydney. Now, I'm proud to say that the restaurant is still going very strong today. Last June, we celebrated 17 years. Am I that old? Yes. And today, Red Lantern is the most awarded Vietnamese restaurant in the world. This is when you clap. Thank you. Was that a baby or an adult? So folks, believing in yourself and pursuing that dream you have is an absolute must. The next part of my philosophy is you never want to look back. You never want to look back on life and think, well, what if, you know, or if only. 10 years ago, my dream grew. My wish was to reach even further than Australia. I wanted to share Vietnamese cuisine and Vietnamese culture to the world. I wanted to create an authentic cooking and travel series through this wonderful country of Vietnam. I wanted to showcase the delicious street food of Vietnam. And this is the food that inspires me and my cooking 
every single day. So I took this idea and pitched it to the biggest TV networks in Australia. You know the networks I mean, Channel 10, Channel 9, Channel 7. They listened to my proposal, they sat and they listened, and they said to me, Luke, nobody, absolutely no one, will be interested in seeing a Vietnamese Australian guy cooking and eating on the streets and curbs of Vietnam. I could not believe what I was hearing. I was devastated. I was crushed. I was really deflated. Now, I could have just left it there, listened to them and just left it there, and not pursued it at all. But I didn't want to go through life and think, wow, what if, what if I did pursue it? So you know what? I picked myself up and decided to start my own production company, and that was when Red Creative Media was born. In 2019, I met a director, Michael Donnelly, and a great executive producer, John Hatcher, and together we produced and filmed our very first series called Luke Wings, Vietnam. Now when we completed shooting and editing this series, we showed it to all the major networks globally, not just in Australia, but globally. And you know what? Everyone loved it and everyone wanted it. Why? Because it was authentic, it was real, and it showed great passion. That first series, along with my other eight TV series that I've since produced, has aired and is currently airing in 160 countries around the world. Now that, thank you. Thank you, that must have been my father clapping. Thank you for that. Now the TV series would still just be, just to be an idea in my head if I didn't believe in myself and grab the opportunity to produce it on my own. I didn't leave myself thinking, what if? What if? And finally, folks, be passionate about what you do. If you're passionate, the whole world will feel and share your passion. My great passion is food. It's history, it's people, and it's culture. It's all of these things that make food so incredibly special to me. Because for as long as I can remember, food has always played a major role in my life. From my humble beginnings, my parents' small Vietnamese Hollywood restaurant in Cabramatta, Western Sydney. From the age of six, I was scrubbing dirty dishes, washing herbs, vegetables, or the beef bones. I was serving customers, bringing them their bowl of pho and their gafé suda. To now, 20, 25 years later, I have set up and owned eight restaurants throughout Sydney, Brisbane, Hong Kong, Myanmar, Cambodia, and now Ho Chi Minh City. I've written seven cookbooks, filmed and produced nine TV series around the world, and I even host culinary tours through Vietnam and Cambodia. And in fact, I have 110 APT guests who have flown in from Australia waiting for me right now in District 1. So after this, I've got to go to work. Now, there is no way I could have achieved all of this without hard work, persistence, drive, and great passion. So to all the graduating students today, whatever direction that life takes you, always believe in yourself. Don't leave yourself wondering, what if? And be passionate about whatever you do. And lastly, never stop learning.
Thank you very much, everyone, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nguyen, and congratulations once again. The Vice Chancellor's Award goes to the undergraduate student who embodies everything we would wish our, our graduates to exemplify. High academic achievement, social responsibility, and service to the university community. This year's winner for Saigon South Campus is graduating, yes, from the Bachelor of Communication, Professional Communication, a President's Scholar and currently working as a commercial management trainee at Nestle, Vietnam, she has achieved outstanding academic results and has represented RMIT in numerous competitions and events. These include a silver prize in the 2019 Vietnam Young Lions competition and leading the first Vietnamese team to double prizes in the 2017 Takeoff Global Challenge in Paris. She has had roles as an SAS program tutor, a project leader, ambassador, and as president of the Vietnam chapter of an international peace organization. The Vice Chancellor's Award for 2019 Saigon South Campus goes to Nguyen Thi Chuk Vân. Vân was presented with her award at this morning's graduation. I'd now like to invite her to say a few words. Chancellor, RMIT Vietnam Chairman, distinguished guests, my honorable lecturers and RMIT staff, families, and my fellow graduates. So during my three years at RMIT, I have delivered a variety of presentations from the individual to group assignments to real client pitching as a Profcom student. But this final assignment may be the most special to me as I get to represent RMIT class of 2019 to express my thoughts as we commemorate such a milestone together. First of all, congratulations to all graduates on finishing this chapter of our RMIT journey. Finally, we made it. While working on this final presentation, I actually did a quick survey among my RMIT friends about their three top of mind attributes of RMIT. It turned out that a majority of you guys quoted pretty much the same things, things that we can never forget nor escape. So today, I would like to zoom in on three RMIT signature experiences we should both remember and carry on into the next journey. The first signature is the deadline. To all RMITers, the deadline is like an inescapable mental signature without which our university life wouldn't be complete. Do any of you here still re relate to the feeling of working super effectively with fast heartbeats during the last few hours before deadlines? Or even more scary, the feeling of clicking submit at 11.55 and your heart feel like losing one beat when the submission time appearing on Turn It In was 11.59. Some of us might share the habit of procrastinating our assignments until the deadline comes so close, definitely including me. However, we all should remember that Deadlines at RMIT provide not only bittersweet memory, but lifelong lessons that prepare us well for our work life. I know that up to this stage, we are hopefully mature enough to stay calm even if the assignment is due in the next couple of hours. Thanks to back-to-back -back deadlines, RMIT has trained us to become fearless at any challenges to be responsible for our work. As we enter the workplace, every single day is a deadline for our self-development, professionally and personally. 
for those working for an agency, there are even multiple deadlines every day. Am I right? The flexibility, quick thinking skills, and high concentration that have been nurtured at RMIT will surely be our powerful weapons for the internal battles against ourselves in working lives. As for me, being a management trainee in FMCG requires me to work at really fast pace, to be super flexible and quick in both thinking and actions. Whenever facing any close deadlines, I usually say to myself, hmm, it can't be worse than RMIT. And the second RMIT signature is global. I'm not sure about you guys, but I will surely miss the Hunter Bowl and global noodles, which helped me survive the long midday classes. But besides global canteen, there's another global feature at RMIT, global mobility. All of us here have had some sort of global experiences, whether it is going on an exchange, study abroad, taking a global leadership program, having foreign lecturers and classmates, or just simply studying English. These experiences have helped strengthen our global mindsets and broaden our horizons. For me, without my semester exchange to Cardiff University in the UK, I would not be working with all the passion and enthusiasm that I have right now. Four months of self-reflection with exposure to new cultures, new people, and learning experiences significantly sharpened my thinking, helped me understand myself better, and clarify the next steps for my career path. These global opportunities provided by RMIT should be treated as a kind of teaser for the long movie series we are all acting in. The world out there is much bigger and there are a lot more exciting experiences awaiting us to explore. As we move on to the next stage of our lives, global is no longer just an extra service. <coughs> Global is a modern attitude that we all should take up in everything we do. Staying global means staying open-minded. Always stay positive, stay open to different kinds of people with different backgrounds, ways of working, and always ready to learn new things. And the last signature is teammates. This is the key word in almost every conversation about group assignments whether it is complaints about our team carrier role or a feeling of relief when you are assigned into a dedicated team. There's one thing that I want to remind you all. We should thank all of our university teammates for the lessons and the skills that we have earned when working with them. Thanks to the high achievers for supporting us, guiding us, and showing us how to collaborate as a team. And thanks to the not so good teammates for letting us do more, or in some cases, all of the assignments so that we can gain deeper knowledge of the course, learn about managing stress, and get insights into the real world. Truly, I now realize how clearly, how important these teamwork skills and experiences are. Our team members now are no longer the same age as us, nor perhaps kind enough to let us choose which parts of the report that we want to do, and certainly won't do the whole thing for us. Nevertheless, we should feel grateful to our RMIT teammates for giving us the building blocks for dealing with people. As RMIT alumni, let's stay connected and never forget that we all used to be teammates. And finally, I would like to express my sincere gratitude towards RMIT lecturers and staff for your continuous support during our time at RMIT. Thank you, Dr. Long, Ms. Tan, Mr. Lin, Ms. Huang, Ms. Desiree for your inspiring lectures, supportive 
career advice and helpful assignment consultation during prop commerce university life. Thank you, Melvin, Farida, and Dr. Long again for your mentoring and coaching sessions in every national as well as global contest that have been to. Thank you, SIS, for helping me and other program tutors grow as instructive academic leaders. And thank you, my parents, for encouraging me to join RMIT and allowing me to make choices that I have been making through the years. And thank you, friends, for all of the stories that we have written together here. Cheers to the good memories we've been through, and cheers to the upcoming adventures. Let's spark our way from today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vaughan, for that wonderful speech, and congratulations again on the award. Before we move to the presentation of degrees to our graduates, we have a performance by one of our English students. Performing the piece Take Flight on violin, please join me in welcoming Li Ji Ang.
speechless. Are we having fun? Thank you, Ang, once again for that great performance. It is now time to recognize our graduates for 2019. Chancellor, Associate Professor Matthews Nakoma, Head of School of Business and Management, will now present graduates from the College of Business. I'd like to invite staff from the School of Business and Management to move to the center aisle to celebrate the achievement of your graduates. Chancellor, I now have the honor to present graduates from the College of Business. For the degree of Executive Master of Business Administration with distinction. Thạc sĩ quản trị kinh doanh cấp quản lý loại giỏi. Mark Francis Snell. Maria Dempsey. Nguyễn Thanh Bảo Timothy McKay Dempsey And finally, Stefan Augustin Kuyak for the degree of Executive Master of Business Administration. Thạc sĩ quản trị kinh doanh cấp quản lý Đỗ Ngọc Huy Nguyễn Văn Phú And finally, Elena Ahu. For the degree of Master of Business Administration with distinction. Thạc sĩ quản trị kinh doanh loại giỏi. Huỳnh Lê Kim Hà Lê Thị Hoài Thương Nguyễn Thảo Vi Nguyễn Trọng Hải Hoàng Yến Trần Ngọc Phương Thảo Trần Oliver Bích Liên Võ Phương Việt Khôi Võ Xuân Đạt And finally, Vương Minh Châu. For the degree of Master of Business Administration. Thạc sĩ quản trị kinh doanh. Bùi Vũ Vinh Anh Hà Thanh Bình Hồ Nhật Lâm Hồ Phước An Hoàng Mỹ Linh Hồ 
Huỳnh Thị Trúc Linh Lê Hoàng Ngô Thị Ngọc Ánh Nguyễn Phan Đăng Châu Nguyễn Thị Thảo Nguyễn Xuân Kỳ Trần Minh Thành Trần Thanh Hoàng Trần Thuần Giao Trần Văn Lâu Võ Trường Thịnh Vũ Hồng Vân And finally Vũ Quang Hưng For the degree of Master of International Business with Distinction. Thạc sĩ Kinh doanh Quốc tế loại giỏi. Eugenia Ferracin. Lois De Vierd. Nguyễn Hà Thu Hằng Nguyễn Thị Như Lan Phạm Thị Tuyết Hạnh And finally, Võ Quốc Trung For the degree of Master of International Business. Thạc sĩ Kinh doanh Quốc tế. Bùi Quang Minh. Bùi Thị Minh Thảo. Huỳnh Thị Thúy Ngân.
Nguyễn Vũ Thái Anh Chancellor Professor Julie Cohen Provice Chancellor and Vice President College of Business who now present our outstanding graduates from the School of Business and Management. Chancellor, the outstanding graduates from the School of Business and Management are for Executive Master of Business Administration, Timothy Dempsey. For Master of Business Administration, Vo Fong Viet Khoi. For Master of International Business, Eugenia Ferishin. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the College of Business. Congratulations to our outstanding graduates and all college graduates. Chancellor, Professor Rick Bennett, Vice President Academic and Head of School of Communications and Design, will now present graduates from the College of Design and Social Context. I'd like to invite academic staff from the School of Communications and Design to move to the center aisle to help celebrate the achievement of your graduates. Chancellor. I have the honour to present graduates from the College of Design and Social Context for the degree of Bachelor of Applied Science, Textile Technology. Cử nhân khoa học ứng dụng công nghệ dệt. AB Shirani Anjali Bandara. Prandi Gampelek, Dimitri Pramolia Perera. <laughs> Hilary Aragana Nagodagame. <laughs> and finally, Ponima Kevindi Wanierachi. For the degree of Bachelor of Communication, Professional Communication with Distinction. Cử nhân truyền thông, truyền thông chuyên nghiệp, loại giỏi. Cao Phan Bảo Trân. Đạo Phước Anh Thư. Đào Thị Mỹ Tiên Đinh Hoàng Yến Nhi Đoàn Lương Nguyệt Minh Dương Ngọc Thủy Thương Dương Nhã Vân Hồ Thắng Lợi Huỳnh Trang Trâm Anh Lê Hải Dung Lê Thanh Nhiên Nguyễn Hoàng 
Châu Anh Nguyễn Hoàng Minh Phương Nguyễn Lê Giang Nguyễn Lê Thu Trang Nguyễn Mai Khanh Nguyễn Ngô Bình An Nguyễn Ngọc Lan Khuê Nguyễn Ngọc Trâm Anh Nguyễn Quang Huấn Nguyễn Thị Bích Thuận Nguyễn Thị Hoàng Lan Nguyễn Thị Trúc Vân Nguyễn Thụy Quỳnh Anh Phạm Kim Hoàng Ngân Quách Thị Tường Vi Cô Ngọc Minh Thi Trần Dương Kim Thanh Trần Hà Nguyên Tâm Trần Hoàng Bảo Châu Trần Hoàng Phương Anh Trần Nguyễn Mai Thanh Triệu Huệ Sen Trương Hà Cẩm Tú Trương Ngọc Bảo Hân And finally, Vũ Phương Nga Uh, for the degree of Bachelor of Communication, Professional Communication. Cử nhân truyền thông, truyền thông chuyên nghiệp. Châu Bảo Ngân. Đặng Huyền My. Đào Ngọc Xuân Quỳnh.
huỳnh vũ thùy vi lâm hải yến lê cảnh phương nam lê trương thùy trang chỉ duy mai minh anh mai tống bảo khanh ngô minh hoàng ngô thị phương mai Thụy Ngọc Thảo Ngô Vũ Minh Nguyệt Nguyễn Đức Minh Nguyễn Hà Phương Khanh Nguyễn Hà Phương Uyên Đào. Nguyễn Khánh Hưng Nguyễn Lê Kiều Trang Nguyễn Minh Trang Nguyễn Ngọc Hoàng Anh Nguyễn Ngọc Thoại Nghi Nguyễn Thái Quỳnh Nguyễn Thái Mỹ Duyên Nguyễn Thảo Chi Nguyễn Thị Lan Anh Nguyễn Thị Lan Anh Nguyễn Thị Thanh Vi Nguyễn Thị Thảo Nhi Nguyễn Thụy Như Quỳnh Nguyễn Trà Ni Nguyễn Trần Diễm Hà Nguyễn Uyên Phương Nguyễn Võ Tuyết Nhi Huỳnh Minh Nhi Phạm Lan Anh Phạm Lê Mai Chi Phạm Ngọc Lan Phạm Ngọc Phương Dung Phạm Nguyễn Hà My Phạm Như Quỳnh Phạm Thùy Linh Phạm Thúy Vi Phan Xuân Mỹ Phùng Khánh Linh Phù 
Phùng Ngọc Hoàng Thi Tạ Thanh Xuân Tôn Nữ Phương Vi Trần Lê Kim Quốc Trần Ngọc Quỳnh Như Trần Nguyễn Trương Khôi Trần Phương Nhi Trần Quang Mỹ Trần Quốc Khánh Trần Văn Mạch Nhân Trương Hồng Nhung Trương Phan Cẩm Tú Trương Thanh Thủy Từ Gia Linh Văn Đức Bảo And finally, Vạn Ngọc Khánh Linh Uh, for the degree of Bachelor of Design, Digital Media, with distinction. Cử nhân thiết kế, truyền thông số, loại giỏi. Bùi Huy Bảo. Bùi Thị Minh Thảo. Đặng Ngọc Huy Anh Đỗ Quý Hồng Ân Huỳnh Dương Minh Nguyên Huỳnh Thị Mỹ Linh Lâm Văn Khánh Hoàng Phương Linh Lê Phan Trung Hiếu Lưu Thành Tâm Mai Minh Hồng Nguyễn Tránh Minh Nguyễn Hồ Quốc Dũng Nguyễn Hồng Kim Quyên Nguyễn Mạnh Khôi Nguyễn Minh Hạnh Nguyễn Ngọc Trà My Nguyễn Ngọc Trân Nguyễn Thị Khánh Uyên Nguyễn Thị Kim Phục Nguyễn Trường Anh Thi Park Su Bin Phạm Lê Quang Minh Phạm 
Phạm Ngọc Minh Tú Phạm Phương Anh Phạm Trương Châu Ngọc Soi Dân Lan Hiển Trần Hương Đan Trần Nguyễn Hồng Phúc Vũ Thị Diệu Hương Vũ Việt Quang for the degree of Bachelor of Design, Digital Media. Cử nhân thiết kế, truyền thông số. Bùi Duy Anh Thư. Cao Hồng Thảo. Chia Xia Yên. Đào Lâm Duy Dương Hà Anh Thư Huỳnh Trần Duy Doanh Lê Anh Tú
take the hell. Take Trung Hiếu. Võ Trần Đức Huy. Võ Trọng Nghĩa. And finally, Yu Chi Ni. For the degree of Bachelor of Fashion, Merchandise Management with Distinction. Cử nhân quản lý và kinh doanh thời trang, loại giỏi. Chế thị diễn hàng. Đỗ Hải Phục. Lê Hoàng Ý Lê Ngọc Thanh Trúc Nguyễn Hữu Như Uyên Phạm Thanh Hương Phạm Thị Ánh Ngọc Phạm Thị Hà My And finally, Tạ Thị Hồng Vân For the degree of Bachelor of Fashion, Merchandise Management. Cử nhân quản lý và kinh doanh thời trang. Cao Ngọc Hải Hà. Đinh Nguyễn Mai Thi. Dương Thanh Trúc La Cảnh Minh Mai Minh Phú Nguyễn Hoàng Nhi Nguyễn Huỳnh Gia Như Nguyễn Huỳnh Phương Linh Nguyễn Khánh Linh And finally, Trần Thị Anh Đào Chancellor, uh, Professor Tanya Broadley, the Pro Vice Chancellor Delegate of the College of Design and Social Context, will now present our outstanding graduates from the School of Communication and Design. Chancellor, the outstanding graduates from the School of Communication and Design are for Bachelor of Communication, Professional Communication, Nguyen T. Truk Van. For Bachelor of Design, Digital Media, Lan Van Khan. <laughs> Chancellor. That concludes the presentation of graduates from the College of Design and Social Context. Congratulations to our outstanding graduates and all college graduates.
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's proceedings. Graduates, you are now part of a large community of RMIT alumni. I encourage you to get involved with the alumni community as it will enable you to stay in touch with the university and the friends that you have made and to develop professional networks to further your career. I take pleasure in inviting you all to join us in the foyer area for photos and refreshments after the academic procession returns or retires. Well done everybody and congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please now stand for the removal of the mace and the exit of the academic procession.
and gentlemen, please remain seated until the official group photo outside is completed. Xin quý vị, xin quý khách vui lòng ngồi chờ trong ít phút để các tân cử nhân chụp hình lưu niệm bên ngoài. Khán phòng sẽ được mở sau khi phiên chụp hình kết thúc. <cười> Thank <laughs> you.